Buster, Buster, Buster. Honestly, what I would tell you is to give you the answer that you're looking for, which is what what would I do if, what should you be doing? How should you be thinking about things? Reverse engineer your strengths, right? You like the NBA? You should hit up Dunk, first of all, and have him put you on. But besides that, I think that you need to figure out what you're good at and what would you want to do. I would basically be today, I'm trying to think, there'd be so many things I'd be doing today. Like, I give a lot of that advice. I would have made bank on Snapchat filters. I, I think that one guy who did the Pokemon Go consulting, I think that was super smart. The, having the internet to buy and sell, I'm a salesman, buying and selling, ugh, just buying stuff on, uh, you know, in Asia and remarketing in the US. I, I think I'd be doing pretty much everything I was doing at scale. So because when I was growing up, sports cards are what people collected, I would just be focused on whatever that version is now. S- I, sneakers, I'm telling you right now, I would be, my stories of Toys R Us and garage sales would be waking, would be waking up you know, at one in the morning and standing in line at a, at a Soho sneaker store to get that thing flipping. Like, I would be doing a lot of that. Um, and so, you know, I think the truth is, Buster, I'd be focusing on what I was strong at. And what I think I'm really good at is buying and selling. I did that with stuff my whole life. Now I do it with people's attention and the end consumer's attention. That is my strength that I would double down on that. You, my friend, need to figure out what you're best at. Is that making content on social media? Is that being a charismatic personality that I think was shining through in that question? Is that, bu- is that being a salesperson, buying, selling stuff, connecting with people? When you're 16, you have time. Like, Jesus. Remember when you were bored? Remember when you could do that? Andy, remember when you were like, I'm bored. Like, you don't have that kind of time when you grow up. And so I would take advantage of that time because that is the asset. And it's very simple. It's this thought process of you find what you're looking for. I've been giving a lot of thought to kind of just watching what I'm seeing out there in the social, digital, ecosystem and very honestly just real life and I'm watching so many people over the last two to three years look for negativity, look for something that's wrong, find where people disagree with them, fight, look for woe is me, downside, half glass empty and and then I go to a Twitter search or look around the world and I find ridiculously beautiful things every day, every day thousands of kind acts randomly by people all people that I have conversations with who see the opportunities, whether it's in business like voice and AR or crypto or whatever it may be, just this amazingly interesting thing that I feel the majority of you are looking for the wrong. While there's plenty of wrong and plenty of right in the world, it comes down to one very simple thing. What are you choosing to look for? Because I promise you, if you right now, and I'm making this video for one reason, 24 hours of trying to find the good. Somebody saves a kitten, somebody opens the door, somebody does a nice thing for you, somebody says thank you. 24 hours of looking for positivity could change your life. Honestly, making this for one person. One. One person watches this video, chooses to do 24 hours of looking for good instead of looking for bad, and their game changes. DRock heard somebody at a convenience store saying, Mom, you're always so negative. You're always so negative. I am blown away by the fact that life gets real simple if you break down into this. Are you looking for the negative? This sucks, this government sucks, this person sucks, this is Or are you looking for the positive? She's nice, that's remarkable, I've got this opportunity. You choose what you're looking for because what you look for, you find. That's how life works.